All right, Charles, we're basically out of food at this point. Uh-oh. Yeah. Today, we are out of food. So we're gonna go and experience our first Asian fresh food market. So we're gonna rent a couple of bikes and head over there, get some snacks and get some groceries. Daddy Biggs daddy in the fanny pack. It looks like a true daddy. It's 180 for three hours, but just give them an extra 20, you know. I think they're red. Yeah, I think it's that. That's a thousand? No, 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 it's a hundred. Okay, tell us, it's three zeros. It's in English on the other side. He is the world's nicest bicycle man. Hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, two bikes, three hours? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. All right, two bikes, three hours. Two bikes, three hours. Thank you, my friend. Okay, be happy. Be yes. happy. <laughs> exactly. How's okay. that? Okay, yeah, I'm ready. Okay. See you later. Bye. One of my absolute favorite parts about traveling to countries like this is renting cruiser bikes and just tearing up the streets. Me and Lindsay. We always have a ton of fun and you can do so much exploring and it's such a great way to get around. So what, <laughs> oh man, I'm on absolute cloud nine cruising on this bike right now. Don't you find that everybody here is so friendly and happy? Like even if they look a little serious, once you say hello, they're like, Hello, Sawati! Yeah, well maybe it's because you're so friendly and happy. Baby, I feel very happy. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Headed away from the beach. Traffic definitely picked up a little bit. Last time we were here was at night and yeah, not as many cars, but that's alright. No worries. Take it slow. Stay on the left side. <laughs> We're in the parking lot right now. We just have to figure out where the market is. Okay, I think I see it. Looks like it's just over there. Okay, we made it. Okay, yeah, we made it to the market. Mildly stressful ride for me. We got a little traffic key at one point. We've arrived at the market and what we're looking for today is fruit, such as apples, bananas, grapes, carrots, peppers, green onions, cilantro, and bonus points if we can find some delicious street food that's vegetarian to eat, and bonus, bonus points if we can find, what was the last thing that I needed? Oh, a bathing suit for Wyatt. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Give me 10 bucks discount. <laughs> that one looks good. Okay. Hello, uh, bananas? 30 bucks. Perfect. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. We just got some samples. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Is sweet potato on the list? Uh-uh. Okay, we're just grabbing? Yeah, I feel like I have a sweet potato. Vegetable time. Carrots and cucumbers. Yeah, this is good. Okay, uh, just that is okay. Uh, and carrot cucumbers? The lady's daughter, whom which we are buying the carrots and cucumber from, is off to my right. So that her daughter can practice English, she asks the daughter to translate 34 from Thai into English. Oh my, it's not the um, 34. Oh, that's amazing. So sweet. Yeah, she knows. She asked her once again to tell us the change amount of six baht in English. Six baht. Six baht. <laughs> 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 that was so precious. What the heck? Yeah. Sweet little Thai girl learning English. Yeah, she knew it though. 34 and 6. She knew. Alright, so we managed to get like 8 pounds of bananas. As well as carrots, cucumbers. We got the cilantro and the green onions. I don't see anything that resembles bell peppers though. So what else would you like in Pad Thai? Uh, I don't know. Is broccoli good? Yeah, broccoli could be good. Maybe some kind of like sprout or something. You know how they have that in... Uh, Bean you know sprouts. I mean? Yeah, bean yeah, sprouts. Bean yeah, bean sprouts. That would be really good. So we just got some sort of greens, like something like bok choy, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. Oh, yes, yeah, I oh got them. We got them. We got yeah, them. Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. So the lady at the last stand who had our bell peppers just gave us this wrinkly lime. I think it's called a kefir lime. She said to smell it. it, doesn't smell like much. I think we'll use it on our pad thai when we next make it. We're getting incense. Yeah. We found some incense which we've been looking for for a while and it's really good prices here. Yeah. Look at this. The mother of all incense. This is so much incense. <laughs> she walked away with it. I don't know where she's going. Maybe she's wrapping it up for us. Oh, she's gonna bag. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, sweetie, your back is so wet. Yeah, it's hot out, huh? 
Yeah, I know. It's hot out, man. Look, these are like offerings now. Oh. For like when you have like a Buddha shrine almost, like a temple. The idea is you buy this and like put it there as like your offering, you know? So the only thing that we didn't manage to find was apples, but I think that's all right. We got everything else, no bonus points at all, because I didn't see any like street food or cooked food and no swimsuits. So what are you going to do? Oh my gosh, dude, What's we teleported back here yeah. and we forgot to bring the bikes back to the guy. <laughs> you scared me. I thought it was like an actual thing. Like you're going to be like, dude, oh my gosh, this was in manual focus and everything's out of focus for the whole video. Ooh, so cold. All right, the one thing that I'm most happy about that trip, we picked up some incense. I just love this stuff. It really reminds me of home. We used to burn a ton of incense in our living room before leaving. So every time I burn some incense and put on like some of my favorite meditation tracks, I just feel like I'm right back in that living room and everything's okay and everything's calm. <sighs> now, speaking of okay and calm, I am now okay and I am now calm. This is the toughest part of travel for me and I thought I would share it with you. Days like today are always very stressful. I have a really difficult time in crowds and especially in places like markets and grocery stores and just where there's a lot of chaotic energy and tons of people and things are bouncing off one another and I just cannot seem to like ground down and be okay in those sorts of environments. So when uh, we go to markets, it's usually Lindsay in front of the camera, it's never me. I'm always filming because I'm always actually just kind of like petrified and frozen behind the camera and just like counting the moments till we can leave. And uh, yeah, I guess that's like... So... again and now I'm gonna make a little snack for Wyatt since he was such a trooper coming to the market with me doing all that shopping in the big crowd so I'm gonna make his favorite sandwich Tallsy, I have a gift for you. For coming to the market with me. Made you peanut butter banana. Aww. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> 